My name is First Lieutenant Mike Santos. I'm a Battalion S2 for USRF. So pretty much I just got off work and I was driving in this road. It was me, this other car, and a bicyclist. Maybe from uh, that line, like after that sign, the, bicyc uh, the bicyclist had a speed wobble all the way to like half of the bridge and then he flipped. And the car in front of me pulled over, so I pulled over as well. So I stopped right away and uh, he hit his face on the ground. It was crazy because like maybe an inch of his nose was coming off. It was like, like that. So I ran to my car and I usually have an aid bag, but uh, I went camping like a few weeks prior, so my car is empty. The only thing I had was a brand new pack of socks and a half drinking bottle of water. So I grabbed that and I ran straight, 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 straight. And I went to the old man and he did not speak English at all. And I had very little Italian. But luckily the lady who was working with me, she uh, works for the military so she was able to speak English and be my interpreter. So I got like one of the socks, poured water, and I was like, can you tell him to put pressure on his nose? And he did. Si tocchi il naso, schiacci il naso, schiacci il naso. So halfway through uh, me patching up the old man, uh, I realized that Sergeant Major Metcalf was right next to me and he was performing aid at the same time. The individual had some severe uh, wounds. He had a, a laceration above his uh, right eye, his nose, a uh, gushing wound on his left leg, um, which he just recently had surgery on. Um, his hands on both sides, uh, from his top of his knuckles back to his wrist, um, were torn up. So this is pretty much where the guy flipped. And then we brought him over, around over here. And then we assessed the situation. Um, there were two serious injuries, one was to the left leg, where we had to apply a tourniquet. <laughs> they used socks. We wrapped, you know, cinched it down as hard as we could to control the bleeding. The first two to three uh, initial minutes, we didn't say anything. He knew what I was doing, so he knew what he had to do, and everything was instinct. In the end, his, uh, his granddaughter the next day gave me a call, and uh, she texted me the next day saying that her grandfather sustained uh, uh, 70 stitches, broken ribs, uh, broken wrists. He was in the hospital for 24 hours, and that she really appreciated the type of assistance that Lieutenant Santos and I rented to her grandfather. I think that that guy is going to remember Command Sergeant Major Metcalf and uh, Lieutenant Santos for the, the rest of his life. If there's one message that I could say is, is you know, understand when you're going through the Combat Lifesaver, the first responder course, that you never know when you're going to have to use it. Thank God that the Army trained me how to uh, provide medical aid because I was 100% useful for that man. You know, being in Italy is, is quite a, uh, an honor to be here and you know there is language barriers there is you know these, these barriers that we do have but you know being able to help a local national and have the local nationals pass by and see that these two American soldiers um, were helping this individual uh, really meant a lot to me because it shows the type of partnership that we have and it felt really good to help the individual knowing that he's okay and, and that you know we did our civil duty. I haven't heard from the man since, but I hope he's okay. Like I, I hope we we made a difference for him.